colored shirt and slacks or something, dress shoe. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like the lip not hanging. <laughs> wow, what? <laughs> So yesterday we talked about this situation with Trevor Bauer and his accuser who has now been brought up on charges of fraud. I wanna give you a little idea of who this woman is. I think this is a very important story because it's something we all need to be aware of. And this type of personality, this type of woman is around. And as you can see, he's had multiple run-ins with these same type of women. But we're gonna watch this and then later I'm gonna get into Trevor Bauer's actual retelling of the events. He goes in more detail. There's more facts that are very interesting about this case. Pop the balloon or find love. My name's Adana and I'm full grown. Uh, my talent about myself is That's one of her that catchphrases. I know myself. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> now mind you, this is after some of the other girls have already spoken, so she's basically uh, dismissing the fact that she has to introduce anything about herself. She doesn't want to say her age. She says she's full grown and she doesn't want to really give an answer here. So you can already see she's being quite disagreeable at the outset of this show. Yeah, go. Oh, okay. I'll follow you where you go. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I love it. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. So what happened there is that she actually did a preemptive strike move. This is a classic sign of someone who can't take or face rejection. Oh boy was about to go pop her balloon. So instead, she pop preemptively struck and popped her own balloon. Very interesting. <laughs> so why did you end up popping Adonis? I didn't really, I it, it. yeah, she popped it because she felt it, she felt it, but like, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure about her answer. Like it, it was, expl I'm sorry, it was like explanatory, but it didn't really answer what I was asking, more or less. You know yeah, what I mean? I didn't give too much of an answer because I was still, On I was fence. hoping someone would say something that I was thinking before I could say it. I feel it. But um, Everybody hikes I in here. popped it because, yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was, but yeah, it was definitely the distraction of the see-through pant. And then the I mean they ivory. The jewelry, wow. Like the earrings for me. Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, I feel if I have to go well, based off looks. Yeah, we splitting hairs in here, so <laughs> Right. More or, yeah. less. <laughs> More or less. All right. Okay. And then let's go down here. You end up But well, that's just the beginning. She she was also very insulting to other guests on the show, you know, like picking out very superficial issues about him. Like, should he have been wearing see-through pants on this thing? Probably not, but I mean, does she have to point that out? Because now that becomes a point where every woman in here is now talking about these see-through pants, which is messed up. If, if, if this was a woman with see-through pants on, would that be, all right, come on. You're looking for anything at that point. Yeah. But he is dope, though. I do actually like his swag. Yeah. Contrary to everybody else, I like it. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go to our next lady here. Hi, my name's Adana, and I pop my balloon because I just feel like maybe you're the type of guy that I would see in passing and just say hello, and that's it, and keep it moving. But you do have a cool, you know, energy about you, and... Um, and in addition, you just said you like shorter women. I'm I'm on the taller spectrum, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling, her? You're not really my type. That's um, right. uh, you are pretty. You carry yourself. You know, I look at beauty in so many different ways. You carry yourself very well. I like your outfit. Uh, it's just not something like if I saw her, we were going out. I would be like, can you change? You know what I mean? I, and it's not that it's bad, it's just that I'm not into that type of, you know. <laughs> different caliber. Different, yeah, yeah. You know, I like artsy women. Wait, women that yeah, like art different women. caliber, hold up. You give yourself a little too much credit with that one. A different caliber, huh? Okay. Type of things like that. Yeah. Expense. <laughs> you could be artsy, artsy and expensive at the same oh, time, trust say, me. I didn't say expensive. Oh, I thought you said, I'm sorry, I thought you said You're expensive. You're holding yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You told on yourself. No, I thought that's what you said. Yeah, that's Sorry. <laughs> $1.6 million to get rid of a baby is very expensive. So hey, you, might, you might be right, actually. Don't be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Expensive is good, though. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, let's go to our next lady here. Some yeah. of the ladies yeah. ended up popping. Yeah. We're going to come back to her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ugly type. I'm ugly uh, type. Pardon? 
am I unattractive to you type shit? I just feel, okay, I want to know what's in there. Are there, poli- are there, are there, well, you let me, find hang, out that, is the policies, your policies who, who, in whoever, there? Whoever actually wanted to find out for yeah, real, I was gonna ask. would have been able to. Question. Whoever wanted to find out would have been able to. Y'all didn't want to stick around to find that out. There's something so in there. I don't know if there was it policies It is. It in definitely there. is. Of course, a suitcase wouldn't be empty. But whoever wanted to actually find out, they would have been able to. You feel me? Could be money in there. And then as you were speaking to the other lady, um, my name's Adana, by the way. Uh, as you're speaking nice to, to meet you, Adana. So as you were speaking to the other ladies, I thought if I wouldn't be able to get rid of you if, if we broke up or something. Like, I feel like something's... You're up to something. Uh, <laughs> I'm up to something. Something. Something that's like no, the spirit. I, hey, that's some that's some caring behavior, man. I think that's what that is. <laughs> like, why would you why would you say that a man is up to something just on a dating show? Like like I mean, like, does he look sneaky or something just because he got a briefcase? You know, like obviously he's trying to stand out, he's trying to get some attention by having, you know, a mystery there, which is actually a smart Smart idea, you know what I mean? But it's just this whole elitist mentality that she has that she's talking about. And meanwhile, she's trying to defraud people out of money. That's the that's the worst type of hypocrite. When you're sitting there talking about how rich you are and you know the things you do and how prim and proper you are, but then you doing the the most Dirty, shadiest, low thing you can do is extortion. Extorting somebody, you know? Go and get it on your own, you know? Spirit of confusion. This is a blessing. I, I never been through I nothing know. like this before, you yeah. feel me? Okay. Uh, and, and in college, I was in a committed relationship for about three years. So, you feel me? I never expected something like this. You know, I was in real love before. So, you know, this is new. You know, I'm happy to be here. I'm ecstatic to meet all of you women. You, y'all look amazing, on um, bro. So yeah, yeah, for them, for them, like you feel me? This, who are you looking um, at, bro? Yeah, oh. everything. You, you oh. tough. You tough as hell. I'm a brick house, but yeah, everything, everything, all that, all that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm a provider. So you okay. feel me? Tough. What it's kind tough. of provider? No, it's tough. You, you popped your balloon. It's tough. Oh, oh, I'm okay. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. That's tough. He's, he's okay. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Let's go on to our next yeah, lady you here. Sh- you know, I just had the craziest thought. <laughs> Yvonne Orgy is about to play her in the Lifetime movie of this. I swear. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yvonne Orgy from Insecure. <laughs> you got a role. You got a role. <laughs> Yo, I've seen Yvonne Orgy in a couple years, man. I, I, we need to check up on her. Shout out to her. Get yourself ready, especially when this case goes down. Yeah, I'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's go right back over here. <laughs> I think she's Why pop- did you end up popping your balloon for him? He seems. Uh... Mind you, she's popped the balloon on every guy on this show. Was she on this show to really? I love or was she more on the show to get attention? I believe it was the latter. <laughs> Why did you end up popping your balloon for him? He seems uh, like volatile, dangerous. Like if if I were to say like wow. or something, he might accost me. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Accost me, like belittle me or put me down if I, no. like it seems like you're not good with like a negative comment. What? Yeah. So. You. Mm-hmm. No, not at all, sweetheart. Okay. Well, see, that's that yeah, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just observed and I noticed that, that that's that's all. What? As far as you, um, you were straight. You was all right. But you got your own opinion. Can't knock you for it. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Mm-hmm. This is the type of stuff that they were lighting her up in the comments for. It got so bad to her. It got so bad for her that. You know, she had to do a separate sit down and explain herself on why she was acting this way. But we see now why. She don't like these guys because they're not Trevor Bauer. Let's just say that. You know, she's in full divester mode, let's just say. Is that, does that mean she's someone that you would approach? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go right back on over here. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
See, and I'm, I'm glad he said that. What you notice here is that nobody, none of the black men that are on here are saying she's unattractive. None of them are colorist, as so many women are saying. You know, the label that they give black men. And I think that in itself is something that has been used as a weapon in this culture these days. There's channels, whole channels built off of that, off of a fallacy. What one man doesn't like, another man loves. And as you can see here, it's been pretty unanimous. Uh, you know, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't deal with that wig, you know what I'm saying? Like, show me your natural self. But the body is there. People were saying she, she's built like that, you know what I mean? Like, she ain't got no whole bunch of stuff, but she got a nice, nice legs, you know what I'm saying? I want people to stop using that as an excuse. I want people to stop throwing that in black men's faces, especially if you have a preference for divesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go that right back on funny. over here. <laughs> <She is so laughs> and so why did you end up popping? The host is so goofy. <laughs> why don't the po host ever put herself on the line? <laughs> she just keep like subjecting other people to this. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next lady. Your name and why you popped? My name's Adonna. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired. And what well, don't 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 laugh. Wow. It's very serious. And like sleepy and I was thinking like an extra in Friday. And I thought like oh, damn. Oh, the film, like like Big Smokey and like What which Chris, character? Like an extra. A ex big Smokey? That that's the funniest thing. She don't even know what she's talking about. She's talking about some big smokey. <laughs> it's smoke dog. Smoke dog, baby. Remember that shit. <laughs> she's trying to school somebody with something, a reference that she's not even familiar with. Crazy. Extra on Friday. Yeah, I was like. That's how I'm looking. Yeah. That's like foul. An extra and Friday. And I thought like. Extra on Friday? The film, like like Big Smokey and like. What, which Chris, character? Like an extra. An extra on Friday. Yeah, I was like. That's how I'm looking. Yeah. Oh. She trying to go viral, that's why. That's no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to go viral. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I think I'm fed up because like every guy pretty much that like came out, they're not dressed properly. And I'm like, I feel like this is really rude and disrespectful. Yeah, it is. And I'm just like, what? what's the point? So I'm just, it's not, I'm not trying to go viral whatsoever. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Well, how you want your man to dress? How presentable? Respectful. What is presentable to you? Presentable. I mean, maybe a collared shirt and slacks or something, dress shoe. Uh -huh. um, maybe. For a YouTube game show. <laughs> for a YouTube game show. It could be argued that she is overdressed for this type of affair. I mean, you can look at some of the women to your right and to your left and see what kind of event it is. It ain't super dressy now. That's. And the other guy that she said. <laughs> other guy that she said was uh had a briefcase and she was mad at that it's not you can never please this woman because she is not interested in you and she and she she and she's trying to get attention how presentable respectful what is presentable to you presentable i mean maybe a collared shirt and slacks or something dress shoe uh -huh. um maybe like the lip not hanging <laughs> Wow, what? <laughs> it's not funny. You said his, his lip is hanging? Like, I can't do it. It was hanging like, like oh, I don't know wow. how to do it. But. I was going to let you have it, but, but I'll let you live. <laughs> you got to fire up, dog. Okay. You got, yo, fight Which back. Way? Fight back, my man. So, so, Bo, is she your type? No. I'm not even trying to be petty. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't even pay. You know, you're very pretty, like, she's pretty, but nah, nah. And why not? Ah, too scary. Mm. Yeah. I better be a model. But then again, anybody can be a model. But You're right. That's right. What kind of model? <laughs> Ain't no damn model. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just kidding. All right. So, Bo, we do still have. I was going to be petty. I was going to do that. No, no. 
So we do still have. <laughs> you about to light, you about to fire her ass up, boy! I would have roasted it. You know what? When I get on the balloon show, it's it's gonna be some roasting. No, let me let me stop. You won't find me on no balloon show, and none of y'all should be on the balloon show. I'm I'm still wondering why people are going on this show. It's ridiculous. Out of these four ladies left, whose balloon are you gonna pop? Which one are you not feeling so far? This big one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. All right, and why did, oh, all right, right, over here, here. Oh, oh. You going for oh. more, oh wow. I'm going to. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was gonna pop mine, but I wanted to collect more data on you. Mm -hmm. I feel like, again, like, looks very tired, and like the, your time piece is, doesn't work. It's like there for decoration. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then. You um, know what type of watch this is though? It doesn't matter, it doesn't work. Okay, and it sounds then, good. And then the popping the gum, it just seems how does she know it doesn't work how does she know his watch isn't is it i mean obviously that is an issue if you up here you know stunting on people talking about you know what kind of watch this is and it doesn't work and that is an issue but she's picking she's looking for little details so she can reject somebody before they reject her it's like eh. i just rolled out of bed put the sweatshirt on and where the ladies at Hey, I appreciate how you said that. It's no worries, love. I know. Thank you. Appreciate you, though. Rolling her eyes at him. <laughs> and so does your watch work? I mean, she said it's... It does work. Oh. But right now? It's not, no. It's not on, no. Okay. I need a new battery. So, so cool. it doesn't work. No, it needs a new battery. <laughs> and let's go on over here, because you did end up popping this balloon here. And why'd you end up popping her balloon? Um, now, he kind of walked into that himself, but, you know, at the same time... What are you gonna do? You get a new battery, it'll it'll work. You know, it's not like it's the end of the world. Go get your watch fixed, you know what I mean? Next time, before you rock it, you know? <laughs> but why is she picking that out? <laughs> why is she picking that out? To be honest, I like somebody. It's just she's lashing out back at her, back at him because he rejected her. I okay. like your hair and I like but your you're look. You're very handsome. You're very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and why you ended up popping. My name's Adana, and the first thing I thought was like, I don't know if you're like high, because your eyes are like they look like you're not there. Mm -hmm. Are you on? I'm actually fully here. Your eyes are red too, so kind of a similar thing. Are you <laughs> we got her on back. Something right now? Or no, no, I okay. don't do any type so of drugs. I wasn't sure because they look like they're really red. So that's one reason. And then, as I heard you speak more, it sounded like you're looking for someone to build you up. Like you want someone to speak on your behalf? I'm like an attorney or like a rep like what kind of representative? He's right. Her eyes are red as hell. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> what is she talking about? She's the high one. <laughs> like a rep like what kind of representative? Who speak to who? <laughs> on about what? So I was conf it's like I was confused, mm -hmm. and then um, I'll just leave it at that. So that, that's that was it. Is Adana your type? Adana actually is. I really like, you know, her hair. I like her style. I like that color on her. Yeah, um, right. I think if she got to know me maybe a little bit more, she would like me. I like the way she talks, her sophistication. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A, 1A, if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, and which, which way for the business? As far as somebody as a CEO just like me, so you can take over my same businesses, vice versa, but represent those things, you know, respectability to other people. So say if we're talking about my modeling career, you can speak on my behalf, you know, help me with things like agency. Like be your budget. agent? No, Like what be the, my partner. What's the cut? If be my partner, a partner. Wait, okay, so you'll be the model and then I would help build your portfolio? No, we will or be a business unit. You will learn me and what I do and how to just do that on my behalf and I will learn the same you. Yeah, I get a cut. Absolutely. Okay, so what are you doing right now, like as far as your portfolio? Right now, I'm an A&R. I'm scouting for young talent right now to sign to new record labels. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the next ten years. Some of the biggest artists you probably don't know about yet. I do professional okay. model work. I do commercials. I do act. I'm in New York Fashion Week upcoming this 2024 Same. year. Same. Okay. okay. So, do you have any artists that? Yes. Do you have a studio? Yes. Why is he asking all these questions? It's over in the Buckeye area. Buckeye. Why she asking all these questions and she rejected them? You know? She heard she heard money. 
she heard potentially some money could be made out of the situation. She doesn't want to date you. She just wants your money, dog. Trust, trust and believe. You don't want to get involved with her, man. She's got some other stuff going on. Arizona. Is it elaborate? Yes. It's called Evolve it Music Group, LLC. That's okay. my name. I'm Cinco the Wolf. You have an engineer and all that? Yes. I hire people. I employ people. Where are you getting the funds from? <laughs> I'm 28 years old. Mm -hmm. Before this, I was one of the youngest account managers with a company called CenturyLink. They're called mm -hmm. Lumen now. Yeah. I made about $250,000 there on my own just from the contracts that I signed around the state. So you may move into an apartment and they have internet already established yeah. there. About three years ago, I established that before that place was even built. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how many years ago was this? I'm 28 now, so this is about five years ago. Life costs money. So, okay, I'm thinking about 200 grand five years ago. And then did you invest that or did you just put it into your other businesses? Yeah. Five years ago, I invested into my music career. I invested mm -hmm. in my modeling career. I do my own thing now. I wake up when I want to and I do my own thing. That That's why I'm dangerous. able to be. Well, it's wake fun. Wake up when you want to at it's this fun. age. I live a life. People know me. It's called Every Day is Friday. Yeah. That's how I live. Okay. So when you made that 200K, did you get any gro like revenue growth when you put it into your other oh business like God. modeling? And that 200K wasn't just all I made. That was just from one entity. I have several different streams of income. Yep. Why is this conversation going like this on a pop the balloon dating show? Like, come on. Do you want to have a date with them or not? Like, you just all in this mix. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, some of it sounds a little shaky, but I'm gonna be, if I'm being honest, you know, from a business perspective. But... Hey, come on, let the guy live, man. Get move on to the next girl. Yeah. <clears throat> Entity. I have several different streams of income. Okay. Yeah. That was just CenturyLink. That was I was establishing at twenty three. He's there. trying to embarrass your other business like modeling and that two hundred K wasn't just all I made. That was just from one entity. I have several different streams of income. Okay. Yeah. That was just CenturyLink. That was I was establishing at twenty three there to get me to where I'm at today to talk to you right now. That's not how it works. What? <laughs> that got to to where you're at now to talk to me? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. like the curiosity. I'm, yeah. I'm a businesswoman, but I okay, tell. well. I am <laughs> just like, hmm. That's uh. why you. Are you? <laughs> are you a businesswoman? <laughs> what kind of business are you in? Let, uh, let us know. <laughs> you're my type. That's why I said you're my type. I can tell. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, we're, okay, I forgot we're still okay, we're here. She might be a little flustered. I fluster her a little bit. I'm sorry. No, I'm just like, a little talk, but I'm, something's not adding up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hater. I'll get the balloon back and I'll think. Let me, let me oh. let my mind twirl okay. a little bit. All right. I gotta crunch the numbers real quick. Not crunch the numbers. All right, we'll be back with you then. So literally, I mean, the writing was on the wall. She exhibited signs that make you realize that this type of chick is really only operating for certain benefits, that she's really on, and she's not necessarily on the up and up. So you have to be aware, you have to be careful when you see a woman like this to make the right decision, man, or else you end up in the same situation Trevor ended up in. He's had multiple chances at this and, you know, it's happened to him over and over again, but you become a target when you start making a lot of money and that's unfortunate. But anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads. If you want to watch more, please watch one of these videos down below. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter. The link is in the description. This is Fawcett Media. Smoke dog, baby. Remember that shit.